Now, jail overcrowding, it's getting so bad here in Denver that some faith leaders and Denver sheriff's deputies are saying that people are getting hurt. And they want the city to take immediate steps to relieve this overcrowding. Denver 7's Lance Hernandez digging into the story and a solution. Violent incidences are on the rise. The Denver Sheriff's Union says the jail is over capacity. We get on an average of a call for assistance from different floors up to 20 times a day. And that's all because fights are breaking out. Mike Britton says deputies are getting injured and they've lost confidence in the ability of Denver Sheriff Patrick Furman and Safety Director Stephanie O'Malley to fix the issues. We have a small number of inmates who are responsible for most of the assaults. Department spokesman Simon Criddle says administrators have come up with a management plan to deal with the troublemakers, putting them in a pod where they have few benefits or freedoms. And what we've seen from that over the last month or so is a great reduction um, in bad behavior from those sort of few bad apples that we do have. We cannot train our way out of this crisis. All right. All right. We cannot overstaff our way out of this crisis. Justice activists say Denver needs to do far more to keep drug addicts, those with mental health issues, and the homeless out of jail. The sheriff says Denver is working on that, but that federal and state officials also need to be more involved. And faith leaders are demanding to be part of the decision-making process. Incremental moves have been made to make it look like our leaders want us to be a part of the solution. And Simon Criddle says the department continues to evaluate staffing levels in relation to jail population. He says the increased staffing levels last year, they increased it by 200 deputies and have another four recruit academies planned for this year.